Now, in this lecture, we are going to understand how to share data between different components in React application. Sharing data between components is very important. When applications start growing, we need to pass data between the components in order to coordinate well. Now, there are four ways to share data between React components. First is a parent to child component. Then we have the child to parent component. Then we have the sharing data between sibling. And then at the last, we have sharing data between not related components. So let's start with the first one, parent to child component. In the parent to child component, we pass the data to the parent and then we get that data in the child component. Let me create a simple example to show you what I want to say. So I'm going to just create a new folder inside my project. So in the source folder, I'm going to create a new folder and name it app. Inside this app folder, I'm going to create a new file and specify name parent to child.js. Now inside this component, I'm going to create an example of parent to child component data flow. So inside this file, I'm going to create a functional component. So I'm going to say react functional component just like this. Let me import this component inside my index. So here I'm going to just say parent to child component and let me pass here my app and inside it I have parent to child.js file. Let me change this component name parent to child. Let me save this file back to the parent to child.js and here we're going to create a simple pizza store example. Now suppose you have a pizza store and you have pizzas with different size and price. Now what we need to do is we need to print an order with pizza size and pizza price. So I'm going to just create a new component and print that. So just down here, I'm going to create a function with the name pizza and pass here properties. So I'm going to say here props. Now using this props, we can create the property of this component. Just out of that, here I'm going to say return. And in the parenthesis, here I'm going to say div. I'm going to create a division tag. Inside it, I'm going to create h3 heading tag and say here order. Now I just wanted to print my order inside this div. So here I'm going to say ul, inside this ul I'm going to say li and say here pizza size and just for that in the curly braces I'm going to print my pizza size. So I'm going to pass here curly braces and then I'm going to duplicate this statement and this time I'm going to say here pizza price. Just for that I'm going to create property to this pizza component. So inside this curly braces here I'm going to say props dot size. And then inside this component, I'm going to say props dot price. I think I misspelled the spelling here, price. Now, as you can see, I have my pizza component. Let me just use it in my parent component. Now, this is what we call a child component because we are passing data to this component from the parent component. Let me show you. Here, I'm going to call this pizza component just like this and just close it. And inside it, I'm going to pass value to this properties. So I'm going to first say here size is equal to, I'm going to say here medium and to this price, I'm going to say $8. Now let me save the changes and execute this program. When I execute this program, you can notice I'm going to have my order. Here we have the pizza size, medium and the pizza price. This is super easy, right? We pass the value to the parent component and the parent component pass that value to the child component. This is what we call a parent to child data flow. React uses one directional data flow to share data between each component. The data is passing from one direction to another. In this example, the data is passing from the parent to the child component. Now what if I create here another component and I want to pass the data from parent to the child component. If I just create here a function with the name store and then I'm going to pass here property and inside this store, I'm going to return JSX. So inside the parenthesis, I'm going to just simply copy this division tag and paste it here and let me just get it off this ul tag just like this and get it off this h3 heading tag from this pizza component get it off this division tag as well because we have this ul tag now what i want i want to pass this data from this store component to this pizza component to do that i need to pass this pizza component inside this jsx so i'm going to just copy this pizza component from here and paste that inside this store. And here, instead of these values, I'm gonna pass here properties. So let me just get rid of these values from here and in the curly braces, I'm gonna say props dot size. And to this price, I'm gonna say props dot price. As you know, we are passing data from the parent component. So instead of this pizza, I'm gonna just call this store here, just like this. Now, let me save this program 
as you can see I'm going to have the result what I want you can see in this example we are passing the data from the parent component to this second child component so this statement will first get the data from this parent component pass that data to the store component to these properties and then this pizza is going to pass that data to this pizza component now you are free to create these components in separate files just for this example I put both these components inside the same file react suggests to create a new component in a new file so whenever you want to create a new component create a new file for that you can notice when passing data between components you need to pass value to the components now what if you have more than five or ten components that gets the data from the parent component in that case it's super confusing to pass these values to the component to solve this problem you can use a spread operator in react for example let me just get rid of this complete statement from here and instead of individually selecting these properties and passing value to it I'm going to just simply call here curly braces pass here a spread operator like this and just pass here props that's it let me save the changes as you can see I'm going to have my same result so this statement will save you a lot of time and effort this statement will automatically get the value from your parent and pass that to the child so whenever you have a multiple properties to your component don't forget to use spread operator now few of the student might ask me could we pass this spread operator inside this store yes we can if I create here an object constant order is equal to and in the curly braces I'm going to say size medium and here as a second key I'm going to say price eight dollar and now instead of individually passing value to this property I can just simply pass here curly braces pass here a spread operator like this and just say here order let me save this file as you can see I'm gonna have the same result if I duplicate this store copy this object paste it down here and this time I'm gonna say here order one and then I'm gonna change this value a little bit and then I'm gonna pass here order one save this file as you can see I'm gonna have two order with different values this is super easy to pass value to your component property using the spread operator so I hope you understand how to transfer data from the parent to the child component next we're gonna see how to pass data from the child to the parent component